For almost 20 years, a Philadelphia family has been waiting for answers, for justice, but they won't give up. They're hoping one day police will be able to find out who murdered their loved one, John Whitehead. Here's our Hank Flynn. What's wrong? Um, he has a picture that goes on his headstone and it's not there. John Whitehead's picture is missing from his gravestone at Mount Moriah. Daughter Lakia says it'll be replaced. It's the memory of him, particularly his murder back in 2004, that she can't shake. I feel like I did 18 years ago. Um, it still hurts. Um, and I feel like somebody should be held accountable. Whitehead was a star with partner G. McFadden. He wrote monster hits for the OJs and Harold Melvin on the Philly International label, all before he and McFadden dreamed up the smash Ain't No Stopping Us Now. Here they are performing it on the official Soul Train video posted on the Philadelphia International Records McFadden and Whitehead YouTube page. Whitehead was working on a car behind his West Oak Lane home when eyewitnesses say three shooters ambushed him. This car was parked right here. No one was ever charged. It's hard to carry that for years. It's not like I'm around feeling like, oh, we're going to find out who did this. It's 18 years later, and, you know, I, but I still have hope. I still have hope. Philly Police Captain Jason Smith says that newer resources are allowing more cold cases like the Whiteheads to be reopened. I want to impress upon everyone that we had not forgotten about victims like victims. And we, it's, it, it's our job, it's our mission to provide closure to these family members next of kin of these homicide victims. He was the hook master, man. He... The family tells me that the grapevine tells them that John was not targeted. His killing was a mistake. I get emotional about sure. it. Sure. Anthony Williams was like a brother to John. He's heard other things, too, mainly that the shooters are no longer here. The tail end of that is years later, every last one of them got killed, too. They're all this, gone they now. All, they all got killed, too. You hear you hear stuff in the street, you'd be like, yeah, he was involved with this. They was involved with that. And karma catches up with you. Karma catches up with you one way or another. So my thing is, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Karima Whitehead says she hears her father's music every day. It changes you. You live with the pain. There's way too much of that going around. If you have info on John Whitehead or any other Philly cold case, reach out. I'm Hank, and that's my take.